Bellevue is now under fire for a controversial policy. It would restrict how you could behave in public. That policy is raising a number of eyebrows, though, including those at the ACLU. Fox 42's Sidney Coates spoke with one man who says this code takes away his constitutional rights. The policy says that you wouldn't be able to shout, swear, or engage in any lewd behavior in city buildings. It also says that you must be considerate to others, so don't forget those please and thank yous. I think it was designed to stop me from coming down to City Hall and, and getting uh, records of things that I'm entitled to get. Chuck Frederick has been to 150 Bellevue City Council meetings. He says this Bellevue citizen's code of conduct is to keep him and others from talking about issues during council meetings. Basically stop anybody from coming down there and get information that they, they should get in order to, to challenge the city when, they're, when they're, something is not right. But the Bellevue City Attorney Pat Sullivan says it's just meant to maintain order. It was presented to the council as a way to, in a sense, uh, establish some civility within the uh, departments and buildings of the uh, uh, city. So I asked if they've had lots of issues with people acting out. No, we've had very few incidents uh, of issues. The Nebraska chapter of American Civil Liberties Union is now threatening legal action against the city of Bellevue if this code of conduct passes. So now some council members say it won't go through. Anytime somebody's going to threaten litigation, you're going to take a second look at matters. Frederick thinks this code of conduct should be aimed at the council themselves. They don't treat me very well. They, they, they with this respect them so it's more should be the conduct of uh, maybe the city employees than the uh, elected and appointed officials. The code also states that those who don't follow the rules could be asked to leave city property and could be banned for multiple offenses. Monty. All right, Sydney.